welcome to the Den of Tools. Heidi ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today in the Den, we are talking Tecton. Now, Tecton, normally when we talk Tecton, we're talking about how amazing, how wonderful they are. They're one of our top five, probably maybe top one, favorite hand tool company that's out there right now today. But that said, this is just proving the rule that nobody is perfect. Every company is out there has got their dogs they're trying to hide. But we're here to call them out today. We're going to show you the top 10 or and then some tools over at Tecton that you probably want to avoid. So let's jump into it. Of course, first I got to thank today's sponsor. That is Skillshare, your go-to place for online learning and creativity and exploring and more. You know, they're a fabulous online source there. But we're going to talk more about them here in just a minute. Let's get to the list. First up, we got to talk about the bit drivers over there. Now, a lot of this list is, unlike a lot of companies, when we sit there and we talk about, hey, these are bad tools and stuff, some of them are really honestly bad. In Tekton's case, most of these tools are going to be, eh, it's like you get to this level of expectation in the quality of Tekton tools, and then you look at the sockets, and you look at the ratchets, and you look at the wrenches and stuff, and then you get to the bits, and they're like, okay, they're good, but... Man, there's just nothing here blowing my fur back, if you know what I mean. This is a decent set. There's nothing wrong with it. We did a whole test on on almost every manufacturer, every major manufacturer, that's for sure, of bit drivers out there. And they scored, meh, about the same as everybody else. There really wasn't, that's the thing, there really wasn't a huge difference across the board. So what you got here is you got a 24-piece set of, of Torx bits here for $65. It seems decent, right? That seems not too bad. But the reality is you can go over to Capri here and you can get their 60-piece set with case and everything else for $58.79. This, the, when we tested these, these are just as good. They, they all performed. I mean, there was marginal difference in performance between all of them. I would say the Tekton and the Capri were spot on with each other, pretty much right in the in the same you know kind of kind of area. But here you get a lot more for your money. You're getting 60 pieces. You're getting a whole lot more to go with it. Capri's a great company. They're making good stuff too. A lot of professional high you know higher end stuff. And, and this just kind of goes to show that, you know, with different companies, you get different values sometimes. Tekton, really killing it with sockets. Capri, their bit driver pieces there are, are some of the hardest to ignore. Now, how about this? We got uh, torque wrenches here. We got a three-piece, a quarter inch, a three-eighths and a half inch for $135. Not a bad deal. Well, this is another case where I think with Tekton, you get to this level of expecting like this really great, really you know, just amazing, you're shocked at the value you're getting here. And with these, these are just OEM from somebody else. Now, everyone does this at some level or another. So we're just calling it out for what it is here. If you look over here, you look at the, is it Lexavon? You look at the EP Auto. I don't know who these companies are, but it's clear here. And I've seen these this, this style, this the flat bar with the, the bolt on it, this, this style of, of, uh, of torque wrench. I've seen them across the board. I've seen hundreds of probably companies and OEMs selling the same thing. You're looking at 135. You're looking at at four, you know, 46. The reality is these are not high level tools, but they're not budget level tools either. You can get the same thing for less, but you know what? Why even do that? Why bother with that? If, if what you really need is a budget solution, then go with something like this. There's a bunch of manufacturers out there who make digital torque adapters like this. I've used them. I've given up on using inexpensive torque wrenches because these things are so imp so simple, so easy to use. You get, you know, they're, they're, they're standard half inch. You got a three eighths. You got a, got a quarter inch. You have all three of those in one for $45 and it's digital and it beeps it does all easy to set no no having to go back and make sure it's calibrated all that you know whole nine yards and these things are surprisingly accurate the technology they use is dead simple and about anybody can make one that works well so you know at that price why not go with something like that all right next up we're going to be looking at now this one's going to surprise you at the the uh, the locking pliers now here this one's kind of a, a little bit of a reverse instead of looking at what tecton had and what you should avoid we're going to tell you this is the one you want to get and the one you want to avoid is oh it's also the tecton one well here's the deal tecton has what they sell on their website which is this and then they have what they sell via oem to other you know other resellers and such well 
they they basically they go they've gone through and they phased out any of the stuff they don't like and a lot of times you'll see that as what's called new old stock in other words it's still new in the box but it's not the current latest iteration and that's what we're seeing over here you can see by the bolt pattern here and the easiest way is looking at the knob over here this has got a nice small you know little knob whereas the new one a much larger knob there and it's got the hole there you can pass through uh you know like a allen key or something so you can really torque down on these things these are made in taiwan for 14 dollars. these are made in china for 10 dollars. these are not great locking players these are pretty decent you know you could do a lot worse than these when it comes to locking pliers as such you, you don't buy the tecton you need to instead buy the tecton right <laughs> i know it's confusing all right how about this we were all really excited when we saw these come out and honestly, I was hoping that we'd see a price drop because $720, all right, you have the option you can go with no drawers and that's going to drop the price down to 410 for that or three drawers, 710. I've, we've seen their cabinets. We've gotten paws on with the cabinets, the big, the 44 inch and such. Those cabinets are fantastic. And this is made by the same OEM manufacturer out of Canada. It's a fantastic product, but for 710, it almost seems like you could get a lot more for that price. I mean, do I have to say it? Do I really? Yeah, it, it, they're, I don't know how many of these things they've sold. I'm sure they're fantastic. You know, one of the, the real pet peeves I have with it is each drawer, because they're modular, has their own lock. It's not a fully integrated system. So I'd have to go through and unlock each and every drawer. What a pain that's got to be. I did find out you can fill it up all the way down, but you're looking at $100 a drawer. You can get three more drawers in there. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Anyway, there's Harbor Freight. There's other options. We're not going to specify which ones you want to go with, but it's hard to say I'm going to spend seven. If you did, if you have this cart, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. I want to hear all about it. All right. How about this? Tecton four inch C clamp. I know you're like $10. Come on, bear. How, how much cheaper could it get? Well, you know, there's always Harbor Freight, $4. If you've got a better selection than, than Harbor Freight for cheap C clamps, I would love to hear it. But this is, this is a cheap C clamp. Let's see where it's made. It's, it's made in China. Now, currently it used to be 10%. Then it was down 5% of the total tools that Tecton sells were made in China. We started covering them. It was 10%. Now, then it was down to 5% a couple years ago or a year ago. Now it's at 2%. They're getting rid of all the Chinese products, replacing them with higher grade products from Taiwan and from the United States and from Canada. And I'm, I think we're all excited to see that. But, you know, the, some of this stuff, $10 for a C-clamp. If you've got a better option than this for uh, a C-clamp, I would love to see it. You know, the there's the Husky ones and such, but they're all kind of in that $10 range. Anyway, I would love to hear what your solution is. Who knows, you know, by sharing information that like that, we can learn a whole lot more, you know, about the tool industry out there. Speaking of learning, <laughs> let's talk about Skillshare because Skillshare is the preeminent place to learn online. Online learning is quickly becoming a primary source of education and Skillshare is leading the way. Their community allows millions of creative people to join together in learning and even inspiring others. They offer classes on a wide variety of topics. You'll not only learn, but you'll also interact through class projects. One of my favorite features is that they're also adaptive to fit your schedule. That makes it perfect for busy tool bears like me. My family has always believed that learning is not a destination, it's a journey and that you're never too old to learn new tricks. Now, Skillshare offers, as I said before, a wide variety of topics. Some of my favorite are photography, cooking, and productivity. A class I recently finished was the Productivity Masterclass, How to Do More While Working at Home. Yeah, we all know how 2020 is going. And as wonderful as it sounds to be able to work from home, it does come with some significant challenges. Those are how to stay focused and say be productive while being at home. And classes like this are helping me do just that. Members get access to thousands of ad-free classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. And the first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one-month free trial to Skillshare. All right, let's get back to the list.
Next up, we got Tecton's the 7561 tap and die set. Remember when I started talking about OEM stuff back there, the stuff that they don't actually sell on the website? Well, we've gone through the stuff they actually have on the website. Now we're looking at stuff that you won't find on the website anymore, and you'll only find through resellers. One of them is the Tecton tap and die set. In fact, a lot of people who are big Tecton fans had no clue that they even make a tap and die set, and, and they do, clearly. <laughs> But here's the thing when it comes to tap and die sets. There, you have two choices. You can either buy uh, good taps or you can buy a set. You, the, any machinist will tell you there's no such thing as a good set of taps and dies. It, you're going to pay as much probably for this entire set as you will f- for one good tap. All right, they're, they're ridiculously expensive. And so what you're seeing here is... This is very marginal kind of stuff. This is stuff I often use. I keep a set like this around for repairs, all right? Chasing threads, that kind of stuff. Fixing things that get cross-threaded. In in rare instances, am I actually running a, a new bolt or something like that? I mean, you can do it. I'm not saying you can't do it, but you're not going to be doing it like every day, even as a hobby machinist. None of these sets I'm going to show you are going to be probably what you want to go with, but they might get you by through some through a while until you can save up and, and get a real set or, or at least the ones you need. So let's take a look at it. In that case, if, if you, it doesn't really matter at this point, and trust me, I, I've looked into this quite a bit and talked to a lot of the machines. We have a, actually a lot of machinists who are fans of the channel, and I'm sure they'll back me up down there in the comments. But, you know, at that point, if you're just going to be chasing threads, get something inexpensive like this. This is a 40 piece. This is SAE. Uh, and uh, the, you know, it's thirty dollars. It's thirty dollars or something like that. There's metric ones also. Here's here's one. This is a hundred and ten piece standard SAE and metric bearing steel tap and die rethreading kit, as they call it, a <laughs> rethreading kit, right? Uh, and you're looking at one twenty nine ninety nine on that. And that's and it's a nice metal case. It'll last you a good long time. And you know, once you get your good taps, you'll have a place to keep them, right? <laughs> Anyway, moving along. How about this? This was some low-hanging fruit. We got the Tecton round magnetic parts tray. This is the six-inch magnetic parts tray. It it's come on, it's a dish with a magnet on it. These things are fantastic. I have them all over. All right. I use these things all the time. In fact, I've got one dozens of them that are just filled to the top with screws that I need to go through that I'm avoiding. But that said, they're you can go to Harbor Freight. You can go all sorts of places. You can order the tight, was it Titan ones here off of Amazon for $620. It, it's, it's a little bit smaller, five and seven eighths. I'm guessing it's the same as the Tecton, probably made in the same factory, but they're just more honest about the dimensions. All right. How about this? How about a Tecton two ton power puller, AKA the old come along. Yeah, we're, it's going to take a while, but it's going to get over here. We're going to make you move. This is not a bad thing, all right? $33.95, it's not a bad price, but let's be honest. It's not, a, it's not a very complicated piece of machinery. You can pick one up for $30 over at the old Home Depot. If you got a northern tool near you, you can pick one up for $25. Looking at these two, they may not be quite identical, but I wouldn't be surprised if they came out of the same plant. They're definitely kissing cousins over there, definitely sharing a lot of DNA. All right, how about this? Tecton 8-inch bolt cutter. This is a nice, tidy little set of bolt cutters. But again, this is not this is not that high level techno stuff we're used to. The stuff that they're going out and they're specking, and they're like, "Hey, we want it to be exactly like this when you make it for us." This is them going and buying off the shelf. How do we know? Well, it looks like everyone else is buying it off the shelf too. We got the Doyle for eight dollars. How about over at Toolup.com? We got the Pro Grade, nearly identical, just a different color for six dollars and thirty one cents. All right, and we got how about this? A hammer, really? A hammer? Tecton 16 ounce jacketed fiberglass claw hammer, twelve forty nine. Well, you can pick up the Craftsman there for eleven ninety eight, or you can even get the Irwin. You know, these are both they all going to have lifetime warranties. You know, Craftsman and Irwin, you're both going to go back to Lowe's with those nine ninety eight, and you get an extra buck off when you clippy the little coupon down there. You know, I'll probably put a link to some of the stuff down below so you can figure out if there's something else you want to go with. Uh, And then last but not least, this one's a weird one. The Tecton vise. This is an 8-inch, 360-degree swivel bench vise for $155. And I got to tell you, 
of the stuff that that's made by Tecton, this is the one that you're going to look at the quality of this and be like, really, this is, this is Tecton. I mean, if you're used to all the other stuff, if you're used to the crow's foot, the angle head wrenches, the, the ratchets, the sockets, all that stuff, you're going to look at this and be like, I can't believe it's the same company. And it, and it's, it's really not, it, it's Tecton in name only. But that said, I don't have something to substitute for this because where else are you going to find an eight inch 360 degree swivel bench vice for $155. It's not a great vice. It it's marginally an okay vice. It's not a good vice. And, but if you need an eight inch vice and you're on a budget, I don't, you know, I looked around Yoast has the exact same one and it's like $10 more. There's nobody else who's selling something like this that I know of that comes in at that price. If you know of something, if you got a better option for near the same money, let me know down below. Anybody comes on like you need to buy an American one and spend eight hundred dollars. I'm gonna smack you with a salmon. You, come on, let's be rational about this sort of thing. The guy spending one fifty five for this doesn't need an eight hundred dollar vice. That is pretty clear. Anyway, that's what we have for you. As I said, a lot of this is not. None of this was like terrible. Oh my gosh, it's it's gonna burn your house down, run away kind of stuff, where you're just gonna lose your money. This was all stuff that. Eh, you can do better, which when that says a lot about Tekton as a company, if their worst tools are meh, you can do better, then they're doing okay. Anyway, I want to say a huge shout out, a huge thank you to today's sponsor, and that is Skillshare, of course. They've been a great sponsor of the channel. Be sure to check them out. Links, of course, are down below. Anyway, that's all this bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.